Very good afternoon my friends, how are you? Hope you guys are doing very well and welcome on this new live trading video from Extreme Trader. This is Salah speaking. So in today's video we are going to do something special and we are going to follow Angela's signals on the Extreme Premium Forex Signals group. So this is gonna be a day with Extreme Forex Signals uh, group signals. So uh, let me just start now. Angela has sent the signal that we can start selling the USD CAD at the level 1.3523. So I might be late, sell the USD card immediately, trust her signal, and 3523, where is it? I just need to mark it just to be sure. Uh, 3523, three. maybe I, I think I'm late. Uh, 3523, three. Um, nope, actually it's perfectly there. It's exactly what I have entered. And as per the signal, the take profit level one is at 20 pips. So what I need to do, is exactly mark here another line and set it to be 20 pips far away from the current entry now there is a good reason for using the line instead of take profit level because once the market reaches this take profit level what i'm going to do is i will set a stop loss just like four or five pips above the uh, the take profit number one just to secure my profit so the stop loss is gonna be actually closing in profit so I will set the stop loss to close, for example, uh, instead of closing in, how can I say that now? I need to show it to you later, my friends. I think some of the new traders, they don't know about this feature. Um, the stop loss doesn't mean, doesn't necessarily mean that you will close your trade in actually loss. It's just going to be uh, where you want to, to end your trade and the limit of your uh, uh, trading equity. Anyway, let me just show you. Uh, we'll just wait for the trade to reach uh, the take profit level and then after that I will show you exactly what I'm going to do. So uh, there is another way I can do it by the way is uh, I'll set an alert here. So what I will do is just try to click on and click trading and then select alert. Now by that I uh, my MetaTrader 4 will, notif will notify me and will send alert once the candle once the candle touched this level of the support here and it will let me know that the market has reached 20 pips of profit uh, the stop loss is set on 45 pips so let's do that 45 pips and on the stop loss and let's see right now so let's now pause the video and wait angela to send the next signal Angela has just now sent the new signal to short the euro NZD so let's go ahead and start shorting the euro NZD which seems actually a very legit and good signal we can see that the pair is now hitting the resistance level and yes totally agree with her uh, if I'm not mistaken this is also Fibonacci 61.8 perfect nice spot yes it is almost there we can see it has already reached the uh, 61.8 Fibonacci level and it's gonna continue uh, falling. So uh, let me just uh, follow the signal again. Stop loss 50 pips and the take profit level on 30 pips. So for the stop loss, we're just gonna select 50 pips. And for the take profit level, it's gonna be uh, 30 pips as per the signal. And ex I will do exactly what I did with the USD CAD. I'm going to draw another line here like that on top of the tech profit level and then get rid of the tech profit level i don't want it actually uh, I, I will show you later what i'm going to do so it is should be 30 pips a little bit down maybe like that that's almost 30 pips that's totally fine okay perfect so again let's now pause the video and i will show you what we will do what we will do with the next signals and angela has just sent the new signal to start shorting the euro jpy so let's start do that and go ahead and short the euro jpy where is euro jpy here it is and exactly right yes at the resistance i really agree with the signal be sure it is in the sale take profit 30 pips and the stop loss 50 pips so let's do that 
the stop loss should be on 50 pips like that and the take profit level is gonna be on 30 pips right here so let me just mark the line here like that just be sure confirming it's on 30 pips yes perfectly fine so the trades are going well so far we can notice that the euro nzd was very close actually now switching to the 30 minute time frame it was very close to touch the take profit level so let's wait and see what will gonna happen and again let me now pause the video and i'll be back to you to show you the next signal and a new signal has just been sent by the AUD USD at this certain level so let me just go ahead and where is the okay here it is by the AUD USD by the way the weekly analysis signals didn't go really so well and i will make uh, quickly today um, another midweek analysis video about that all right so again by the AUD USD take profit is on 20 pips stop loss at 45 pips let's do that so the stop loss is gonna be on 45 pips exactly like that all right and the take profit is gonna be on 20 pips so what I'm going to do is actually I'm gonna get rid of the take profit level and I'm gonna replace it with this line right here and cancel take profit level uh, you will know the reason uh, once the candle actually touch that very same level all right so right now we are having these four trades running uh, two of them going in profit actually and two of them still going out ranging uh, at the entry or in loss so uh, let me now again pause the video and I'll be back to you to show you and the bonus signal has just been sent to buy the NZD USD let me go ahead now and start buying the AUD uh, sorry the NZD USD and again let's follow the signal it says stop loss at 45 pips and take profit at 20 pips all right so let's do it 45 pips should be the stop loss for the signal all right like that exactly 45 pips and for the take profit is gonna be 20 pips so let's just mark the line here and then delete it or get rid of it like that all right i just want to know exactly where are where is the 20 pips located and therefore we are having all these signals only the uh, euro gpy is still not going well and that is normal we need to wait until the the price uh, will reach the perfect level for the reversal which should be actually at the top of that resistance and since i'm on the four hour chart let's go to the one hour chart and yes as you can see we can expect for the candle to reverse exactly from where it is because we are having right here the resistance number one and it was also a strong support and therefore we can now wait for the candle to create resistance number two so as you can see the signals might go in loss in the first at the beginning and that is totally normal we can see now all of the signals are going in profit except for the euro gpy uh, let's check uh, USD CAD in profit, uh, Euro and ZD in profit, and AUD USD in profit, and also of course NZD USD. Uh, it's totally normal. Uh, look at that. The, the candle now started to reverse. As I told you, my friends, you need to also analyze the candle by yourself. You need to also uh, um, analyze the trade by yourself. If the signal has been sent, and you see it going against you, please follow my videos follow what i'm saying in the videos i'm always telling everyone if you see the thread going against you continue analyzing it just see where you can expect the reversal to happen since i have here the resistance i can expect for the pair to reverse exactly at that resistance now if the pair has made the break out of that resistance that's different story because the next reversal might happen exactly at the stop loss and if that happens i need to close the thread before it reach the stop loss please take a look all the all the threads are immediately going in big profits uh, just while recording now AUD USD is very close to the tech profit one and i think yes also usd cad is approaching the tech profit number one so far going in almost 10 pips of profit so far is amazing great uh, let me now again pause the video and i'll be back to you to show you what will gonna happen with these signals all right let's check this together angela angela has just sent the notification to close your gpy right now with 20 pips of loss and i agree with her 
uh, the pair seems like it's gonna rise above that resistance so better close it so this is a very good example that we are just uh, trying to control the losses to the maximum and as you can see I have closed that trade with a $28 of loss but yet yet there he, there are three uh, four other signals we're having $40 profit on them and still going on meaning the losses has already been recovered and we have so far a profit of almost uh, 12 or 11 dollars of profit which is really perfectly fine and as you can see the number is increasing as well that's a very good example of how to follow the signals and as you can see uh, AUD USD is going so far in I think 13 yes 13 pips of profit um, USD CAD is going in 13 pips of profit and this one as well Euro NZD is also going in 14 13 pips of profit fantastic amazing amazing all right so let me now again pause the video and i'll be back to you to show you what will gonna happen by the way did you guys count how many times i said let me pause the video and, uh, and i'll be back to you it's very interesting you can just count them i think i said it so far maybe more than six or seven times it's okay anyway let me pause the video and i'll be back to you Alright, this is exciting. Now let's resume together the recording and <clears throat> as you can see uh, Euro NZD has just hit the take profit number one and I think Angela will send the notification at any moment uh, Let me just show you now what we can do in the case the take profit level has been reached the take profit one has been reached So do you see this stop loss line here? I have I will drag it down all the way Below my entry Check it out now the stop loss is $14 that's the stop loss so it is like I'm telling the the, the meta trader that please close my trade in loss if the trade will go back and close it just with $19 of profit that's it that is the, the best way actually to use the uh, target uh, one or take profit number one you just need to drag your stop loss just a little below these the take profit one so I have dragged it like 10 pips uh, before it let me just bring it a little bit more if the momentum is strong, the trend is gonna continue falling and I'm gonna get another take profit level. So <clears throat> let me just take, uh, you see, as you can see, I can make another take profit level even below the, st the stop loss. Now, let's mark or let's check the signal again. So the signal says for the Euro and ZD, the take profit 2 should be 60 pips. So what I will do next, I will just repeat, I will bring this down the line here I have drawn and mark where is the 60 pips could be 60 pips should be here so let me bring the line right here like that I know it sucks to do that but however uh, that's the only good way like, okay like that yes that is actually the one of the most recommended ways to use our signals so exactly that is 60 pips so right now this new line here is my take profit number two and I'm gonna keep it and see what will gonna happen now my trade is safely gonna be in profit at least I have secured at least $21 now you can see the trade is still going in profit the candle is still falling what I can do next is drag it down bring the stop loss down and you can see now I have secured the profit of $24 so uh, that is one of the ways to use our signals is we cannot really secure or guarantee that you will get take profit two and three it all depends on the momentum and the strength of the currency and the power of the trend and all of these uh, things are actually playing important role in deciding if the trend is going to continue falling or not so uh, that's a very good deal so far we can see that oh, most of the trades are actually going in profit right now except for the USD CAD still ranging which is totally fine anyway let me now pause the video and I'll be back to you guys to show you what will gonna happen with the rest of the trades alright so as you can see Angela has just sent now that the AUD USD has reached the take profit number one and I think she's right maybe because my entry was a little bit late uh, let's just confirm together uh, let's just uh, look again uh, the AUD USD signal the entry should be at 0 0.6918 and I have entered later than that 6923 6918 there should be the entry exactly right here and we can see that she's right actually it has reached the tech profit number one that's correct so what I will do in this case actually I will do nothing um, I will just uh, drag the stop loss exactly at the entry 
I still want to earn profit from this trade even though if I have late uh, if I have a, a late entry so the stop loss will be just like a break even like nothing because I still believe the pair is gonna continue rising and let's see what will gonna happen I think it's gonna continue rising at, at least until to hit that top of the resistance and in this in this case I can do something here I can drag the take profit level to be exactly where I think it's gonna reach so uh, the trade is still going in profit so what I want to do now is actually I want to secure some profits and therefore um, the trade is gonna close either with a break even of four dollars or uh, continue rising and hit the, tr the profit of 46 dollars so in both cases I have a safe uh, position right now so uh, everything is going well so far let me please again pause the video and I'll be back to you later so as we can see the trades are going in b very good profit now the account is above uh, $500 um, what I can do now as a signal user and I want everyone to practice this uh, once you have a good profit for one day you can actually close the trades and just enough for the day um, maybe you will not secure that the trade can actually uh, reach take profit too maybe you don't want to keep trading the whole day and that is exactly what exactly what I'm going to do right now the account now is above $500 and for me that's enough now we can see USD CAD is just almost there at take profit number one so I can close it as simple as that and right now for the AUD USD is still going and right now it's in 24 pips of profit again I'm gonna close it as well and also for the NZD USD, I can see that the profit is very fine for me and I'm gonna close it right now and the account is above $500 so a profit have been made and that is exactly how you can use the signals it depends on you um, we are not account manage managing uh, service we cannot tell you what to do exactly guys we cannot tell you close the trade now open trade here open I mean we are just giving the signals right so we cannot tell you keep the trade running don't close it um, wait for take profit two. Don't close it at take profit one. Uh, we cannot do that. Some people are actually asking us to do these things, but the reality is we are just signal provider. Signal provider's job is just to tell you where you can enter the trade and where is the signal provider expecting for the market to reach later. So that's what we did, and that is exactly what I have done now in this session in front of you. So right now the account is above $500 and I'm satisfied with that. So of course now the big question is, is every, th every day is as good as this one? The answer is no. Answer is absolutely no. There will be some bad days, there will be some days where you are going to face some losses and we always need to prepare for such day. Uh, we don't want to enter with big lot sizes, we don't want to risk our investments always be sure that you are following the instructions given to you when you are joining the premium signals and believe me if you are following them correctly you will be safe so anyway i really hope that was informative to you and by the way yes if you wish to join uh, extreme trader forex signals group you can find the contacts of angela you can contact her today and you can join the extreme trader forex signals uh, you can find in the her contact details in the description below the video so until then i hope that was informative to you and i would like to thank you for watching